Capricorn season marks the beginning of winter in the Northern Hemisphere. This is the energy of practical necessities. It's the energy of the natural world turning cold and dormant to the visible eye while getting a whole lot of important work done just under the surface. Capricorn similarly tends to take the no frills approach and works diligently towards their goals without much fanfare. Part of the reason Capricorn possesses this pragmatic viewpoint comes from the fact that this sign is ruled by the Stoic and steady planet Saturn. If you'd like to learn more about Capricorn's connection with Saturn, you can check out my other video titled Capricorn Your Planet, which is linked in the description. Winter is the final quarter of the astrological year. Our secular new year in the West is of course January 1st, but for at least two millennia now, astrologers have been marking the beginning of the year on the spring equinox, making winter the last stretch the ending before the next beginning, because this is a cyclical pattern which has no hard stop. Winter is simply concluding one revolution in the cycle in preparation for a new one. Some key words that describe the winter season are contemplation, rumination, reconsideration, sublimation, reformation, preparation, anticipation, planning, drafting, designing, and dreaming. Capricorn season is the time in the cycle of nature when the world is planning and building and laying the necessary groundwork for the big plans it has in the coming growing season. The dormancy and the cold temperatures of winter are a critical process of nature. Many fruits and vegetables that we rely on to sustain life will not grow properly if temperatures don't get cold enough during specific times of year. This season also offers crops natural protection from bacteria and pests which can't survive cold temperatures. Winter gives plants a chance to rest and recuperate after their productive season. The energy of winter can be equated with how farmers will sometimes let fields go fallow or empty so that the soil has a chance to recover its fertility. The natural world cannot constantly produce. There also has to be a period of recharging. Capricorn season begins on the winter solstice, which has long been celebrated by ancient and modern cultures alike as a sacred time of enduring strength. Winter solstice is the shortest day of the year when the sun's light is at its weakest. This is the turning point in the sun's yearly cycle where its energy has been waning throughout the autumn and comes to its lowest point, only to begin gaining in strength again as the days start getting longer from that point on. The symbolic celebration of winter solstice is about having the fortitude to continue on through challenging times. This seasonal association contributes to the iconic iconic stamina, persistence, and determination that characterizes the zodiac sign Capricorn. This point in time is a natural watershed moment of truth, where we are looking back on the journey, the successes and mistakes of the past year, reaping the rewards and consequences, considering what lessons can be taken away, confronting philosophical and existential questions about what does it all mean, and formulating action plans for how we can integrate what we've learned going forward. Winter represents the wisdom of old age. Capricorn season can be symbolized in terms of the human life cycle as the cessation of life, or to put it more colloquially, death. But this isn't something morbid or terrible. Note that this stage is not the end of the line in terms of the life cycle. It's simply the beginning of a new part of the soul's journey. This gives Capricorn a profound awareness of the meaning of it all, as well as a staunch pragmatism. If you think about what people do on their deathbed, they look back at their life and they have the unique perspective to see it all as a whole. When we're young, we're in the moment and we have no idea if we're doing it right. But when we get to the end, we have the hindsight to look back and we know what the measure of our life was and how meaningful it was. And Capricorn has that awareness where they're able to comprehend the gravity of their actions and estimate the consequences and plan accordingly, which brings up the practical side of this season and its related age range as well. People at the end of their lives are thinking about the legacy they're leaving. They're writing their wills and planning the inheritance they're going to leave their kids and deciding what lasting mark they want to leave on the world. Similarly, 
Capricorn is always working towards building some kind of legacy for themselves. They always have a very smart long-term master plan to ensure their security and the security of those close to them. Thank you so much for listening, Cap. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Comment if you have any questions. Share this with your friends or other Capricorns in your life. And please subscribe. I would be so happy to have you with me. One last thing I'll mention is that this is based on traditional Hellenistic astrology, developed over 2,000 years ago by the ancient Greeks and Romans with significant contributions from the Egyptians, Babylonians, Persians, and various other cultures in the surrounding areas of North Africa, South Asia, and the Arabian Peninsula. Since all of these places are situated above the equator, the seasonal associations with zodiac signs are from a northern hemisphere perspective. So a common question is, if I was born a Capricorn in the southern hemisphere, does that mean I should pay more attention to the seasonal symbology of summer since the seasons are opposite? The short answer is no. The original meanings apply to everyone, regardless of where on the planet you were born. The long answer is a little bit more interesting. If you are seeking a deeper understanding of of your sign, then it's important to know that astrology is a vastly complex symbolic language which employs the natural principle of duality. In this context, that means summer and winter are two sides of the same coin, and I would absolutely encourage everyone to explore a little bit about the sign which is 180 degrees opposite to your own in the zodiacal wheel. In a way, this can be like holding up a sort of mirror or a negative of a photograph, an inverted image of of yourself. By understanding our opposite, we can often gain a deeper understanding of our own soul. Capricorn is opposite to the sign Cancer, and I will leave a link to Cancer's seasonal video in the description below if you want to check that out.